but sometimes it's hard to remember about the conflict that's going on in Ukraine. Russian forces are not slowing down, still advancing into many regions of Ukraine, nearly 5,000 civilians, and that's probably a uh, conservative number, have been killed. You know, that invasion is now into its uh, almost 20th week. The conflict has also created nearly 7 million refugees. The United Nations calls it the fastest growing refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. Uh, we're joined by somebody who lives right here in Center City, Philadelphia, a photographer, uh, Ada Trio, who went to Ukraine, spent some time in Poland as well, taking some amazing photographs. And as they say, you know, a picture tells a thousand uh, is worth a thousand words. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for having me. Um, you're, you're, you, I'm calling you a Philadelphian now, but you were born in Texas? Correct. Okay, how'd you end up in Philly? It was a love story. Oh, a love story? <laughs> That's for another day, I guess. Yes. Okay, why, I know you're a fantastic photographer. We're gonna look at your, go ahead and put up her pictures of different things uh, that you saw in Poland and Ukraine. Um, why'd you wanna go? Well, um, my life has been dedicated to working with refugees for the past seven years. You were in Central America for a while? Yes. Okay. And uh, I take the journeys with the refugees mm -hmm. because I feel it's very important that once they arrive to a safe land, the people understand what the sacrifices made and what they were leaving why behind. Is this, why is that so important to you? Well, the woman that raised me, the nanny, was deported from El Paso, Texas, mm. and ended up in my house working. And she was such an important part of my childhood and my life that I feel like it's important to understand and document those stories. Wow. Okay, uh, there's, we have an easel to your right. Tell me about these two pictures. What are we looking at on the, the top picture? Where is that? That is Cheshmiel in Poland, the border with uh, Ukraine, and is um, the, um, where the train station stops. So yeah. that's the first train station. Who do we see in the picture? Now we see a family uh, the mother with her children, and here another mom with her with her child. Yeah. And basically, the men, if they are under sixty, they um, stay to fight. The men had to stay. If they're under and fight. sixty, if, if they're under sixty years if old. If they're under sixty years old. Yeah. Now the bottom photograph. My goodness, a little child. They are the children that are that were left in Irpin. For this is in Ukraine, yeah. and this is the Ukrainian uh, military providing them with diapers and food, etc. So you went into Ukraine. Yes. And you're kind of risking your life. Yeah. It's that important to you. It's very important to me, uh, especially with children. Mm -hmm. um, I feel it's like my purpose. Yeah. Do you have kids? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going back? Um, well, my oldest daughter stopped talking to me when I went. I bet. So, and she just barely forgave me. Okay. So I don't want to, I don't want to take yes. that chance again. Uh, <laughs> where can we see all of your work? Um, at Billy Penn, I did the essay. Billy Penn. Uh-huh. I also did an essay for Red Canary. Okay. On Ukraine sure. and my website. Uh, by the way, if you ever are over at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, uh, so, do you still have pictures in there from Central America? I have one from Central America and... That's a big deal. <laughs> and yeah. three from Juarez. Uh, um, yeah. And they're in the permanent, permanent you, collection. You have beautiful work. Thank you. you. Beautiful work. And um, I'm glad you got back okay. All right? Do what your, your daughter says. Just stay here for a while. <laughs> yeah. All right? Thank you. <laughs>